Hey guys, Bill here. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Uh, it's cloudy and raining here, but it's the humidity's up pretty good. I don't like the humidity, but oh well, I guess we all got to deal with it at one point or another. So, but guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this because this is uh, going to be kind of a long video. It's a big model. I'm uh, going to do a review here. An unboxing of this B17G Flying Fortress, guys, made by Revell. It's in 148 scale. It, they say it's a level four, and it's for ages 12 and up, guys. So you can see the box out there. It's a pretty good sized box. I'm gonna have to be standing up a little bit here to even do this. Let me grab this box and get it closer. As you can see my hand, guys, I mean, it's, it's a big model. Some nice looking artwork there. So let's look at the side here. Let me flip my glasses down so I can see what I'm doing here, guys. Uh, guys, it says the length on it's 19 plus inches and the wingspan 25 plus inches. Okay, it's got 140 parts. It's molded in silver. It's got water slide decals. So we all know the story on the uh, on the B-17 from World War II, guys. It's a heck of an aircraft. But uh, let's roll on down here and look a little bit more. It's got full interior detail front to back, including in all gun positions, guys. It's got the bomb cart assembly with bombs. The gun turrets rotate and the propeller spin. It's got five flight and crew figures. And it's molded in silver, black, and clear. So, there you go. And then it's giving you the colors here, guys. Let's see if I can get that to come in a little bit better. Come on. Uh, paint guide says aluminum, blue, brass, chromate green, flat black, flat brown, flat dark green, flat white, gunmetal, and light gray. So, oh, we still got more. Light green, medium gray, natural wood, olive drab, red, satin black, tan, yellow, and zinc chromate. So, lots of colors there, guys. Paint this up. Here's the other side. Looks like it's kit number 85-5600, guys. 5600. There's the one of them built up. That's what she looks like. Sharp plane. Here's some more pictures of her. Some side art. There's the front of her. It's gonna be one heck of a build. It's gonna be a big one too. But that's that guys. We go ahead and put this box back. Bump the camera while I'm at it. There we go. That's close enough. All right, guys. Let me go ahead and get to... Uh, I'll go ahead and show the decals first, guys. Okay? I'm going to do the decals first. So, this is the decals for it. Uh, they look like some dandies. Some large decals, guys. As you can see, Chow Hound, El Lobo, LGR stickers, trying to get that to come in if it will, there we go. But that's all of them, fellas. That's the decals for it. They look pretty nice. They're not too thick, not too thin. So, not bad at all. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the glass here. Get it up in here. That's the glass, guys.
So quite a bit of it. Get some different angles of it here. Lots of detail in that too. Glass for the gun turrets and stuff like that. There you go guys, that's glass. Go ahead and lay it off to the side. I think it gives you this extra little sheet here, guys. Uh, the B-17G Flying Fortress. There's tips on building dioramas for it. So, they threw this in there. Which is actually pretty nice. As you can see, it's a fold-out. It's got all kinds of information in here. Some pictures on some past dioramas there. All kinds of information on doing dioramas, guys. And then here's the back side of that little sheet. So that's that. That was kind of nice of them to send that in there. It's labeled monogram there. All right, we got that. Now let's go ahead and go over to the instructions real quick, guys. Uh, B17G Revell monogram instructions. It's a big old fold-out sheet. Like a little book, guys. As you can see, Tell wheel, tell wheel assembly, the ball turret assembly. Uh, jump over here to step three. There's step six. Guys, lots of detail, lots of added detail parts in this. It's going to look pretty good. Flip her over and we'll go to step seven there. Showing some of the interior and fuselage there. Uh, the inside right fuselage half. Then over to step nine. There's 12, 13, 14. Let's keep going through it here. There's step 15. Sixteen left wing assembly. There's nineteen. This kind of jumps all over the place, guys. There's 17. Step 17. Uh, looks like there's one putting one of the guns in. There's one of the gun turrets there. There's the left side of the fuselage, step 20. More guns being put in. And there's step 21. Looks like you're doing some work at the tail of the plane. Step 24, left front of fuselage. Ah, here you go. Looks like you're putting in some of the... Doing some of the engine work here, guys. And the propellers. 
the engine assembly. And then that's showing the right wing, how you put them in. There's step 25. The bomb cart assembly. So this comes with your bomb cart too, guys. So, pretty neat. Let's keep on going. And then, uh, right here, it looks like it's, uh, Doing the old El Lobo 2. The decal placement, stuff like that. And then here's the Chow Hound. If you're going to do it that way. Right there, guys. Chow Hound. All your decal placement. And then the back page here, guys, uh, tells you a little bit about the decals and the painting and the figures. So, shows you right there the El Lobo 2 or the Chow Hound. Build it either way. And that's it. That's the instructions for the B17G by Ravel Monogram. So, all right, now let's get to the parts, guys. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit faster here. This video is pretty long. These here, all these parts here are molded in black. As you can see. Guys, I don't know if you're seeing it or not, but there's some pretty good detail here. Let me turn this a little bit sideways. Kind of get the light shining on it. There's an instrumentation panel. It's hard to see this when it's molded in black, but there's a lot of detail in this. There's some of your machine guns. The propellers and wheels. Look at there too, you know, I like the tires, guys. They got them flattened, see them? For when it's sitting. So. There's a little detail in that piece. There's the seats guys. Come on res in a little bit there. There's detail in them too. You know there's a little bit of cleanup on this. I can already see that but hey that's all part of it. So. That's a black sprue, the only black sprue we got, guys. The rest of it's gray sprues. So let me get that laid up here. And uh, we'll do the, looks like the wing sections first. Now I'm going to have to pull these way back, guys. And I'm bumping the camera here. Uh, kind of slide this out here in front of you. Look at that. Not little. Try to turn it this way. Here we go. It's a little bit better. Detailing all that. See that fire extinguisher on that one piece there? Wing section. It's got raised panel lines, guys. Just to let you know. There's some of the bombs. The other half here. And that's that one, guys. Uh, I mean, just one wing section. Let's see, one wing section here for one side's 12 inches. Close at, close to 12 inches, guys. Just one side. So, <laughs> big kit, big model. Let me lay that one over here and get that out of the way. And then uh, 
show the other half. It's pretty much the same thing, I think. Got a few different parts there. Well, it's hard to get this all in camera and hold it at the same time. Let's go ahead and flip it this way and I can show you some of this one. You can see the detail, guys. Look at all that. Some more bombs. The tail section and wing section here. Just keep on going here. Flip her over, get the bottom of that one. Look at that. Lots of detail painting here. But that's that section, guys. Big piece. Can't hardly get it in frame. And we got one more sprue. And this is the fuselage halves and a bunch of other stuff, guys. Uh, Try to get this out here. This is the biggest sprue out of all of them. But uh, move it back here kind of so you can get an idea. But uh, the fuselage guys, go ahead and measure this out real quick. Kind of give you an idea. And it's going to be longer than that once you get the glass and everything. You're looking at, uh, I don't know, 19 plus inches. So... A big model, guys. Let's go down here and show you this half of the fuselage. All the detail. I can think of a bunch of you builders out there that could build this that I'm subscribed to. And do it justice. A bunch of you. Oh, there's some of the figures. That's that bomb cart, guys. Top. There's inside. Sorry if I'm shaking a little bit, guys. This is kind of hard to hold. There's the engines, guys. I know you can buy a lot of aftermarket stuff for this, too. So, photo etch and different things like that. Get her down here to the other part. There's some more figures. Get that to res in a little bit. Well, there we go. The other half of the fuselage. That's that one, guys. Big aircraft. And I believe... I believe that was it, fellas. Uh, you know, we'll show these decals again. I think they're pretty nice decals. But uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and call this video quits. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh... The unboxing on this B-17G Flying Fortress by Ravel monogram in 148 scale. Skill level 4, ages 12 plus. So, appreciate you watching. Hope you all have a good evening. Uh, take care, God bless, and we'll see you at the next video. So, bye-bye everyone. Have a good evening.